Hey there everyone, this is Um. um today I'm just going to be showing you guys how to install Reshade uh, for 5M or GDA5, it's the same thing really. Um, so what you first want to do is install Reshade from the website. Um, I'll uh, put a link of the website there. So what you want to do is open up the Reshade.exe. If your GDA5 is in here, just press browse. And then go find your GDA5 folder, which is usually in your... C drive if you installed it there or whatever. Um, so we're going to do gf5.exe. Open. Next. Um, it all it automatically chooses this one because most people is already using that. So choose whatever one is yours. Um, you can skip this part. Just press next. Uh, there's a lot of effects here. These are all needed. Every single one. So press uncheck all, then check all, and press next. Um, it'll take a little bit to uh, install this, but that's all fine. So whilst we um, that's installing, um, there's a few things that could help you make your game look better. So you can use Quant V's ENB or NVEs. I highly suggest Quant V's. This is the best one out there. Um, however, I use NVE for all the other stuff like roads or textures stuff like that all right so reshade just installed press finish so now what you want to do is um for this video i'm just going to be using this one because this is the most popular reshader right now and everyone uses this so i want to open up my reshade black light ultra realistic go in there then read me it tells you pretty much already but some people it's just easier if i make a video for some people i want to go into there then you open your GDF5 directory and then chuck in that into there. I already have it there, so you don't you wouldn't have to place re, uh, replace, it will just automatically be there. However, I've already got it installed, so there's no need for me to do that. Um so now what you want to do is um okay, well you don't have to do this, but I suggest you guys do uh, to make your game look a bunch really good. So what I'm going to do is I want to install ray tracing or made by McFly or ITGI. So first you want to open up his regrade beta. So this is a Patreon thing. I'll also put down a link in the description. So obviously shaders. So you're going to shaders. Well, actually, we got to do right. We do reshade GI first. Uh, so shaders, go into shaders, drag that into shaders, go into quint, go here, chuck that in there. Oh, actually, there's textures to that, my bad. So now, go to uh, textures, textures, drag that in there. Alright, now you want to go regrade. So shaders, shaders. This isn't required, it just makes it that little bit better. And for people who do want that, I'm just gonna teach you how to install that as well. Then after that, you wanna go to insight. Shaders. To there, sweet, and then go physical dwarf shaders to quint, quint, drag that in. All right, so now you've done that. So reshade is now installed. So what you want to do is um, just open up your 5M. I'm on 5M crash, so I'm just gonna. I reopened it, it's just doing the same thing again. I'll cut the rest of this out. Alright, so this is now finished downloading. So what you want to do is press home. Skip tutorial, unless you want to go through it. I uh, want to get a reshade preset, so... Just go altruistic, there it is. Boom. Uh, there's performance mode, which will make things run a little better. I'll quickly do that. Um, that'll take a little... Not too long, but... 
It'll help a little. All right, boom. That's how you start it, reshed. Um, so what I'm just gonna do is, um, press F8 quit, and teach you guys how to install NVs and quant, so quant V, NV, that stuff there. Uh, so just gonna press Windows and Open IV. I'll put a link to Open IV in the description of the video as well. Alright, so what you want to do here is press edit mode, open up your quant v, install 5m that, but there. So dot oivs are into quant v. Uh sorry. The dot oivs always going to open iv. Game folder, install. And whilst that's doing its thing, I'm gonna quickly get your 5M application data. Alright, so I got my 5M application data here. Um, so what you want to do is go into mods. I've already got all this stuff by Quant V there because I installed this last night, so I might mess up there, but that should be fine. Go to file action mods corn v drag that in there but as you can see I already got it there so there's no need to but what you can do is there's a lot of optionals so go optional presets you can choose any of these so these ones the dot rpfs they're going to your fiber mods application the dot oivs go into open iv um this is lot i can teach you guys how to install it as well so um you also need one of these but so when you install quant v it automatically comes with the very high preset so i'm just going to chuck on low for the video so my computer doesn't explode whilst recording this you can also rock no nb nb sorry and it will be just like that so with nv same process with the nb except just drag that into your GA5 folder. But I recommend Quantum View. So with the main packages, they're all going to your 5M application mod starter. So um, if you're using the NV ENB, you need that there. But if you're using Quantum View ENB, do not, just do not put that there. So anything you want here, chuck it in. Just for this, I'll put Garkos in and nothing else really. Go up, optional add-ons, you can the resources of like 5m servers and this is not sure <laughs> um so these so that's a rose overhaul pack you can put that there that's the only thing that and more car engine smoke are the only things i personally use but you can do whatever right, so now over here this is installed I'm just gonna press that and now i want to teach you guys how to install the lot quant v this is a again it's an optional thing you don't have to you can skip through this part so which one goes gda5 shortcuts i'm just gonna install i will install them so vivid summer enb series go into there drag that there replace go back cinematic lock is that there replace quant v quant v Put that there. Place. Lot. Drag all that. I think it's the same. But yeah, just go like that. Go back. Camera lens. NB series. I'm not going to mess with the camera lens, but again, just go back out here. Drag that there. Replace. So that's how you do that. Now I wanna load up into a 5M server or GDA5 server, and I'll teach you to go from there. All right guys, I'm in my test server now. Um, so I'm just gonna apologize because th this part of the recording is gonna be really droppy because I don't get FPS default, but with recording, doesn't help. 
But this is how the reshade looks with A and B, the black uh, ultra realistic reshade. Uh, just go here. But like, it looks really nice with A and B on. However, when you take A and B off for the ultra realistic reshade, it's all right, but it doesn't look as good. So with the to get the photos I've taken in the Discord, if you want your game to look exactly like that, you will need the corner B and B. Um, that has its own menu here. You can fill it around with that. But so I'll just uh, but yeah, it looks better. This is how it is without E and B. It it's it looks nice, but it's a little weird. But with E and B on, it makes it look really good more realistic and um so that's for the ultra realistic reshade but every other reshade it looks um it looks perfectly fine without without um and b um so if you want for example cinematic reshade if you don't want and b to make it look all that good here with cinematic reshade this is how it looks with the NB. Looks really nice. Then take it off. Still looks nice. On, off, on, off. But yeah. Off. I'll show another one. The ZX ray tracing. That one's taking a little long. Yeah. So this has a blue tint to it, but this um this reshade is really good for lighting. So it can't it's a ray tracing reshade. Looks really nice in my opinion. Um but there's a few stuff, for example, let's say you don't want that tint mount fit around with the settings, you know. So which one you like, which one you don't. If you don't want that blue, just take that part off. Or with, when you turn off performance mode, you can adjust it. Alright guys, uh, so thanks for watching this video. I hope it really helped you guys. Um, so if there's any more issues that you still have with difficulties, um, just join the Discord. Um, ask in the support channels or make a ticket. Um, we are more than happy to help you guys. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a good day.